What's up, Perfectly Blended family, and welcome back to another video. I'm Chantel. And I'm Greg. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing parenting. So we aren't here to portray a perfect picture. We're not perfect. Our kids aren't perfect. In today's video, we want to share with you what parenting is like for us. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe, subscribe and hit, hit that, that notification, notification bell. bell. So when we drop a new video, you're, you're alerted. alerted. All right, let's get into it. Who ever would have thought parenting could be so challenging at times? It's not always easy and it's not always cuddles and kisses the way maybe new moms or first time moms imagine it to be. Cause I know I imagine it to be. I'm like, oh my gosh, sweet little baby. We so get to the baby. Oh, okay, and, okay. You know, we're gonna be like best friends. It's it's just not always. Does it start that with way. somebody else's baby? Like somebody I else, think you're so. you're at a get together. Somebody brings a baby. You're like, oh, can I hold the baby? Oh, cute little yeah, baby. Like, Anything that's gonna be this. so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It is at first, but then kids go through stages. <laughs> Let's show you some of our kids' stages. Oh my gosh, Amaya. That's not how it works. It should. No. You treat people how you want to be treated, regardless. That's it. I don't care. They treat me bad. I'm going to treat them bad. Right, then it's just going to keep coming back to you. Don't you understand? That's what we're trying to teach you. And you just don't listen. What was she so upset about? Do you remember? I do. So Amaya was upset because I just had bought her a sketchbook. We had went to the dollar store, picked up a sketchbook because she's into art and she's fabulous at art. And instead of just giving her like loose paper, I wanted to contain it because she has some really good artwork. Okay. She wanted to take the sketchbook because it's so new to school. Oh my god. And I told her she can't do it because it's a thick book and her bag is super heavy. I'm like, where are you gonna put the book? Just when you come home, you'll get to play with your book, you'll get to sketch. Yeah. But there's don't bring no it to reason, school. There's no reason to have that at school. Right. So she was super upset. So we're driving her to school, right? and she sees someone that she knows that she says bullies her. So she just says mean things back to this person. And we're trying to teach her that just because someone says something mean to you doesn't mean you need to combat that with another mean comment. That's one of the things I keep trying to tell all of them because Amaya gets upset, smacks Jasmine. Jasmine tries to smack her back harder. Jasmine is not as strong as Amaya, and then just goes battle back and forth, back and forth. Who can hit who the hardest if you don't intervene? And I'm like, guys, you need to treat each other the way you want to be treated. Right. You can't. <laughs> Do you like being hit? No. So why would you hit somebody? And it, that doesn't stick. The kid's not going to listen. I know I wrestled with my brother all the time. I fought with my sister. Like, so it's almost part of childhood. Yeah. But, you know, they, it's almost like fighting who's the most stubborn. Yeah. And we want our kids to know that communication is huge. They need to, like, talk it out. Like, let the person know what's frustrating you or how they are affecting you. And let's try to work it out. Or come to us and tell us and we'll try to help, you know, mediate the problem. But they don't do that. They take it into their own hands. And it's, like, physically so, all the time. Yeah. Like when it comes to things that Amaya would come home and say, like this person's bullying me, mm -hmm. we take it seriously. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, but at the same time, we have we know we know how they are, and we have to understand that they're not perfect, and they can instigate also, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And so it, it's when we're approaching teachers, principals, whoever, it's being open, I want to hear both sides. I want to know what's going on from their perspective yeah, also. Absolutely. Yeah. And and most of the times it's just kids that really like Amaya and so boys. Yeah, yeah, it, it kind of act, right? Like she's a cute little girl, so I try to tell her that, but she still doesn't appreciate yeah. it. And I get it. I get it. 
It's annoying. Yeah. I, I obviously I can't see from her perspective. Mm -hmm. As an adult looking at it, you're like, oh, he just likes you. That's what I see. But if you say that to her, it really upsets her. Yeah, she doesn't like. Yeah. Oh, I'm not into him. <laughs> He's gross. Anyways, <laughs> usually. When she gets home and she distracts herself with like a YouTube video she likes to watch with a girl that's teaching her how to sketch, she calms right down. So therapeutic for her. So you'll see her just do her thing, calm down, and yeah, it's like do at it, the end of it. Over it quick. Yeah. Get my picture. It kind of looks bad because it's quite fresh time, but it looks great. You got to make sure you put 2020. All right. So our second child. Jasmine. <laughs> Jasmine. Jasmine is just but it's so it's so interesting because three kids, three different personalities. They're so different. And we like man, you think we raise them all the same. <laughs> they don't they're all the so same. different. No, just like it's it's interesting. So Jasmine's the type of kid that goes from zero to a hundred in seconds. Like things are, things have to be a certain way for her. Like she's very particular. Like you, like she has oats in the morning. You cannot put her brown sugar in her oats. You must hand her the spoon with the sugar on it and she will put it in and mix it. You dare do that, the morning's over for you. She will not stop. Yeah. It has to be made a perfect way also. It does, yeah. But I think because she has that sort of quick personality like you sort of do also. Oh really? You're particular. You like to have things a certain way. And as I said in an earlier one of these, you could switch on a on the turn of a dime. Remember? Yeah. That was in a Okay. That was in a date night video. Yeah. So Jasmine is very much you in that aspect. Mm -hmm. Sorry, the extreme version. <laughs> Man, you would not flip like that. So yes, Jasmine likes things a certain way. She does, and um, I find that it's worse when she's hungry. So just don't mess with her That's, when she's hungry. Feed you gotta, her. You gotta have snacks available. And then talk to her. <laughs> Man, so and if it was the morning, she'd be real quick. Oh, All right. So check this out. What do you want? She's really upset because she's playing a game and I interrupted her game. No! I want something nasty! I don't want it! Okay, tell me what you want then. I <laughs> She can't tell you what she wants. I want pasta! You want pasta? Yeah! And then you'd be okay? Yeah! Do you remember that night? I don't. <laughs> But I know she gets that way. You just stay calm. You can't react. You can't get angry. It doesn't make it any better. It just prolongs it. It does. So you stay calm. Try and talk to her as much. Try Do what you can to communicate with her. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta de-escalate the situation. Yeah. And then you apply consequences for acting that way. But we don't, like, we try not to, like, yell at them when they're in that state. It just makes things so much more worse. I mean, we're human. And sometimes we get frustrated. We're like, Jasmine, just... Stop. But we know now, like de-escalate, find out what she wants, talk to her, and then let her know, like, she doesn't talk to us that way. She doesn't, because she doesn't get her way, she loses her cool. You know, and we kind of have her think about that before she gets anything for the night, or sometimes she just misses out on treats. Have to get out of her why it is that she is upset. And sometimes she really doesn't even know. She can be tired, like she yeah. acts like She'll that never say, she's tired. I'm tired or oh, I'm yeah. hungry, but most times she's either tired or hungry or both. Right. Give her food, let her eat as much as she can. You know she needs a nap, she will not take a nap. She's but give her her own space for a little bit, she'll be cool. Okay. <laughs> All right guys, so our third child, Danny. He's such a cutie. He is, he's so cute. But he also, it could just be something like this, like I'm talking and I turn and, I, and I, I, you bump him, he will go off. He turns that into like you just punched him hard. And yeah. so all day we hear him screaming, Jasmine, hey, me, why? And they're like, I didn't even, all I did was this. And I don't know if they're lying or not. But I know you know how he reacts to simple things. Mm -hmm. Or just, again, something not going his way. 
Yeah, and if he's tired or hungry, it's it's the same exact thing. But oh, he's he, a crier. He is a crier and a little whiner. But the thing is, it's so cute. Um, no, just when it comes to bed, I think he's just like your typical kid. No kid wants to stop having fun and just go to bed. So he has a hard time breaking the fun and getting ready for bed. So he will just cry and cry and throw a fit. And you know he's tired and you know when he's in bed, if he's really tired, 20 minutes and he's out. But if he's not and he wants to like be disobedient like you guys saw in nighttime routine and they're just in and out of bed, he will do that for like two hours straight with his sisters. But yeah, check, <laughs> check this clip out. Here's Danny. Danny, what's wrong? I want to go watch something. But it's bedtime. No! <laughs> we have to go. Oh, no, I don't want to go to my bed. Why? Because I want to go downstairs. But you get to go downstairs in the morning. <laughs> Danny. Go back down. <laughs> So it's really easy for Danny to calm down. Like we can really bring him down much faster than we can with the girls. Yeah. The minute we just give him hugs and just like, you know what, buddy, you're gonna like play in the morning with your sisters and you're gonna have a blast tomorrow or you're gonna get a certain treat tomorrow, he, he's totally fine. Like, yeah, sometimes it's just, who do you want? Give him a, a decision that he can make on oh, his own right. now. Oh, right, yeah. Who, who do you want to put you to bed now? Yeah. And then soon, it's like that's a distraction. Who can I choose, mommy or daddy? Mm -hmm. Or sometimes like Amaya, rarely. <laughs> but, and then even if he does ask, he might ask for someone else later. But it's just that little, let him make a choice and it yeah. seems to be okay. It's so true. All right, Danny, five minutes later. Buddy, I'll we'll see you in the morning, okay? Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Can I say night night to mommy? Night night, have a kiss. <laughs> Love you. Love you. <laughs> night, buddy. Night, night. All right, so here's another little clip of Miss Jasmine because Miss Jasmine also has the more, out of the three of them, the more demanding personality. It's like if it's not Jasmine's way, it's nobody's way at all. Take a look at this. But Jasmine knows she has a better chance of getting a yes out of me than she does out of her mom. That's why I'm she came all the way says even the mom was right here. I'm the one that says no a lot? Yeah, like in the video where we do the Yeah, does mom say no more than me? Yeah. Like in the video where you point to the guy? Yeah. Yeah. The which parent yeah. video? Yeah. I'm not sure if she told I don't think it's a big deal. I'm easy going. <laughs> I'm easy going, but it's six o'clock. They need to have their dinner. I told her after she's done her dinner, she's having spaghetti. Right after you can have your granola bar. And she throws a big fit. There she is. Yeah, but a granola bar she can have now. Dinner she has to wait for. She's hungry. She's really hungry. She she's came hangry. Over she's hangry. But why is she yeah. angry? Because she just you get the same way. Because she just came over gymnastics. She's starving. And she knows she right. got water. Yeah. She ran out of water, yeah. Alright, well let's feed this little chicky. You ready to eat, Jazz? No. What are we having? Spaghetti. No. You don't like spaghetti? You want spaghetti for dinner? Yeah. Jasmine? I want spaghetti Okay. Good girl, I love you. All right, guys, so here are the kids now, 10 minutes later. Jasmine, how are you feeling? Good. She still hasn't eaten yet, but she's definitely calmed down. What are you drawing, Jazz? Snowman. Snowman. <laughs> Our kids get treats, I think, more treats than the average kid. Like, we take them to Starbucks. We do Starbucks dates. Take pop end. Is it good? Lucky kids. <laughs> they get like cake pops, they get treats in the week. They eat pretty clean for the most part. And so to get something like that is a bonus. Right. Like we are not super strict. They do get the occasional treat. They're kids, right? <laughs>
So yeah, so they get the occasional pizza, cake pops, and we, we treat them, especially when, you know, they, they ask for it and, and they've been good, right? Yeah. So you like these chocolate covered granola bars. <laughs> Same what Giles was asking for after gym that day. I tell Dane King, you need to sit, you need to eat at the table. And I give him a paper towel to wipe his fingers after. If you need help, ask for help. He's usually pretty good. He doesn't like being dirty. He's one of those kids that if we, we tried having him finger paint, and he's like, eh, he just, <laughs> you know, he'd play real quick. He's like, wipe it off, wipe it off. I'm seeing so he gets chocolate on his fingers. He wants to lick it, he wants to wipe it. And he's pretty good at getting it all off. Yeah, he is. For some reason, that day, he decided to do his own thing. Take a look at this clip. <laughs> Thinking, what's this? What do? This. Look. That's the granola bar thing. Why is it on my wall? Because this is. Because this is. Uh, uh. How many times have I told you to wipe your fingers? You have paper towel right there at your spot. Dean King. He's like your typical kid, like he's just a typical boy. Like he wanted to go back to play, he got distracted and probably was going to the washroom or up the stairs and put his dirty fingers on the wall. And we always tell them, eat in the kitchen. Any food has to stay contained in the kitchen. Yeah, he probably got distracted on his way to wash his hands even, going yeah. to the washroom there and just fell on the wall because it was those fingers on the corner like that. Yeah. I think it's just we get so tired of like cleaning up after them over and over and over and it's like guys stay in the kitchen like but they're kids man yeah all right here's another parenting situation we have to deal with <laughs> take a look at this one all right i don't know what's going on i'm sitting here trying to eat my dinner late and chantelle's calling me greg come upstairs come upstairs put the camera on so Go well, upstairs, I got the camera. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Guess, but look. Should I have you I'm, in the picture here? Yeah. I go in the washroom. Hey guys, so I go in the washroom because I'm like just, you know, getting ready for bed. And I look at the toilet. But look. Oh my gosh, what the hell? No, hold on. Brother. <laughs> Stop. Brother. It gets better. Look where you're standing. <gasps> Come on, man. <laughs> Babe, you just noticing this now? Just now. I gotta get the stupid powder and put it on there. So. I gotta get the carpet cleaner. How do you feel right now? I'm just frustrated, man. I should have to deal with that. He, you tell him so many times. So many times. Ask for help. You, you can't do it on your own. No, I'm just oh, thinking God. how the sheets look in there. We didn't even look at his sheets to see how dirty he is. Well, it's not it's going to be under his pants. I don't think there's anything to worry about. Okay. He comes out and he sits down to put his pants on. That's all he did. Aww. And gave it a good rub on the carpet? Yeah, you picture him trying to get his paint leg <laughs> on. And that's it. That's what I think that is. That he doesn't know how to wipe himself properly. He gets off the seat, makes a mess. And then sits on the carpet. This yeah, is some so craziness. This is crazy. Do you want the wet wipes? Or does he have wipes in there still? I have the flushable wipes. Yeah, I'll do the flushable for sure. They might be easiest. Anyways. I guess this is just like... I don't want to get like... Like angry or anything over it because I was just making it worse. So I'm going to deal with it because it, like, it is what it is. This Clean is like seriously and... life with a toddler. Like you got to get the cottonelles. Clean them up, clean your floors up, miss a meal. Yeah, that makes you have things like miss getting carpet stain remover sitting in your cupboard. Right, already. but it makes you miss, you know, getting your beauty sleep on time. Like everything is just messed up because of little Danny. And let's look, what is he doing now? He's sleeping. There he is. All right, I'm gonna clean him up. I remember the incident, but I don't even remember. Like, okay, if I didn't find that clip, I might not have even remembered it. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Because it's I don't let those things get to me. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't. Never... It was an innocent act, was, I think. Yeah. The, like even now, he'll call if he needs assistance. I don't know why he didn't then. Like, he's trying to be independent. I don't but know how I long think, ago was that. I think he said he did call. He's like, I called him why and I didn't answer. Oh, it was that no. night that it happened. Right. Yeah, so he he was calling Amaya because the washroom he used is in our room and Amaya is sleeping in there. So he was calling Amaya to come, but she, wouldn't have, she didn't get up. So I think he yeah. got kind of tired of waiting and then... Because we're in the office, they're already been to bed, mm -hmm. everybody's sleeping, but it woke him up, so he's responsible enough to get up and use the washroom. Yeah. So Amaya cannot be woken up. Like, you have yeah. to physically pick her up, put her on her feet, hopefully she comes to. When Chantal and I started living together, or whenever all of us were together with Amaya, years and years and years ago, we're just walking and talking, you're putting away laundry. All I remember is, you went to Maya's room and started putting away laundry. Mm -hmm. You walk in the room and put the light on. I'm like, like she's sleeping, and you're like, she sleeps through everything. And then we just proceed to have a full conversation with the light on while she's folding clothes, putting away laundry while am I sleeping? And I just keep looking over, like, Is she, isn't she gonna wake up? No, she never did. She never has. <laughs> she still has that same knocked out. That she's sleeping. Dead sleeper, guys. She's a dead sleeper. Like she sleeps so dead. <laughs> <laughs> Yet, we go in and say goodnight to Danny, even though he's completely, he's been sleeping forever, he'll still give you a response. Oh yeah, he'll wake up. He's a light. light sleeper. So anyways, this night he had woken up, used the washroom, tried to get Amaya to help him. Amaya was dead asleep. Yeah, Amaya's dead asleep. We're downstairs, we didn't hear if he was loud enough. Yeah, we didn't hear that at all. Yeah. And then we found that. So again, it's just parenting, like some of the things we have to, to go through as parent. Yeah, it's like messy, but I've heard worse. And oh, I, yeah. what we have is nothing. No. no. <laughs> That's, when is it that we're just lucky enough to actually catch it? Because I think I we've had, I have think we had I one can... from everybody? Yeah, uh, yeah. Jasmine mostly. Oh, Jasmine, Jasmine. Guys, Jasmine. Jasmine gives us lots of. Yeah, when she was Dini's age, she was just so mischievous. She still is, but at a different level. Yeah. So she's, she's going to be six this year. So she's the six-year-old mischievous version of her. Um, Amaya, funny enough, we never really had any issues of mischievousness. No, she doesn't, she's not like one team. No, she just age. falls asleep. She gets to bed and she falls asleep. The issue we have with Amaya is, like if she doesn't want to do it, she doesn't do it. She's very stubborn. So she doesn't like tutoring. She doesn't want to do it. She throws a fit. It could be school. It could yeah. be um, school, reading, like anything. You have breakfast. I don't want breakfast. Yeah. So if she doesn't want to do it, she's not doing it. It'll, it'll turn into something. Yeah. So it's us trying to explain the importance of whatever it may be. Yeah, and just letting her understand that she has control over two things, and that's her attitude and her level of effort. So she can change a negative situation into a positive one. And she's getting there, she really is getting there, but it's always that we're always preaching to them, preaching and like it's constant talking to them over and over and over with the hopes that one day it's gonna click and they get it. But she's, she's making steps I think she's been a lot that. better. She has. Like, since we've been home. That is true, because we've had, we spent a lot of time with them. Mm -hmm. Time that they've never spent with us before, so we're really able to, to work on some of those weaknesses. Dan King does not like cleaning up. Oh, he's and the, yeah, that's why sometimes uh, Jasmine won't play with him because she's yeah. like, I don't want to clean up his mess. She knows to what extent she's willing to make a mess because she knows she'll have to clean it and she will actually clean it. And she does a good job. Yeah, she's on top of that and she'll actually clean up after the other two. Yeah. Because it might be nobody gets their treat. dessert <laughs> or a treat until whoever left that mess cleans that mess up. She's like, I'm not waiting for anybody. And she <laughs> She'll just go clean it up for whoever left it. On the other end, it's like, yeah, when she, her brother wants to play with her, and she's like, I know the mess he's gonna make, and I do not want to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. And, and then he throws a fit because sisters want to play with her. Oh yeah. 
but Danny, we're still trying to get him into the understanding of when he takes something out, he has to clean up because right now he's leaving things all over the place and we're constantly walking behind him and picking it up. But that has like recently, like we have been trying to make him accountable for his actions. I'm like, no, you're picking it up now. Yeah. I'm not picking up after you, I'm tired. <laughs> One of the things I've found as a parent is, like, I actually might have said this somewhere else, how much fun the kids have is directly related to how tolerant we are of noise or mess. <laughs> because they can have so much fun doing it. They want to play with connect sand. They love playing with connect sand. They cannot keep it in the sandbox. If they want to play with connect sand, we know we're going to be vacuuming, sweeping, like cleaning the place up. All over the clothes. It's, going to be in the, it's, it's not contained. It's going to end up all over the house. I don't know what they do. I do. So yeah, I know that if I'm going to say yes to kinetic sand, I'm going to be prepared to monitor it so it doesn't <laughs> leave the vicinity and I know I'm gonna have to clean up afterwards. It's gonna be on them. They, It's like on their sleeves, they get up and they start doing things and it ends up on their hands. <laughs> but I don't wanna take away their fun either. So mm -hmm. there's gotta be, it, balance, it's one of those yeah. things that sort of comes occasionally, just like their fort. Oh yeah, for sure. So our kids have a huge imagination and we never ever wanna like suppress that. They're always building like tents and they're in boxes and they're always doing something where their imagination's involved and we just love that. Absolutely. I like watching them have fun and I don't want to take it away from them. They're usually pretty good, like really. And I know some parents are like, no, the house has to be kept like this. You do not take the covers off your bed. You do not take covers off of every bed and <laughs> pillows off of every bed and make a fort. But that's stuff that I always wanted to do when I was a kid mm -hmm. and I had so much fun doing it. I'm gonna let them do it. You just yeah, want them to be able yeah. to clean up afterwards. That's all it comes down to. Make sure you put everything <laughs> back properly. Yeah. Take care of it. Like don't trash things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's really it. They play really well together and the girls just love dressing up and matching like twins. And I think it's like the cutest thing. Rapunzel. We wanted to match because they're doing here. a TikTok. And they want to match because they're doing a TikTok. So Amaya's like always trying to do like Jazzy's hair. And she does a good job. Like she is a really good big sister. They get along well for the most part. They do. They practice their gymnastics together. Mm -hmm. Maya coaches Jasmine. <laughs> we try and regulate that because it's not safe. I tell her all the time, Amaya, you're not a certified coach yet. Please don't have Jasmine. So when you guys see Jasmine doing backflips on the bed, Amaya taught her that. Like I mean, it's impressive, but at the same time, Jasmine's like, doing it anyway. It's true. Like, I just want her to get Anna. hurt. So Amaya is trying to prevent her from getting hurt, trying to show her how to do it the proper way. Jasmine is like fearless. Oh my god! She will just throw herself into a full backflip, just jumps and she'll land on her head and she'll yeah. laugh. You know she's hurt, but she'll get up and she'll do it again. She'll try harder this time. <laughs> it's crazy. She's a she's a true honey badger. Yeah. Like it's crazy. Jasmine definitely is. And they both like their little brother. Oh my gosh! Yeah. And we really want our kids to always value the relationship they have, the family they come from, and to know they should always stick together no matter what. So they always look out for each other. Like if someone's, if one of the kids are at home, one of them's asking, where's so-and-so? So they're really close. They're really close. I love that bond and I hope they maintain that bond for as long as they're here on this planet. <laughs> as much as they can get on each other's nerves mm -hmm. sometimes, they can oh. also, it goes both ways to extreme. They love each other, you can just see them all sitting and playing nice. Mm -hmm. And then on the other end, it could be hunger, it could be tiredness, it yeah. could just be irritation, needing their own space. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they can really get on each other's nerves. Mm -hmm. So true. But on any given day, they look up for each other and they, oh, take, they take good care of yeah. each other. I think that even, <laughs> They just prefer to know where the other one is when they're yeah. home. They'd rather be home and a little frustrated than like yeah. one of my inside her dad would be necessary. Yeah. And you so miss one of my sisters. And they FaceTime. That's true. Can they I do. call my uh... <laughs> They play like games all together, Roblox from you know, yeah. 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 Alright guys, so that is our episode on parenting. We'd love to hear any stories you guys have with your kids and 
some maybe tips on what you guys did to help resolve some of maybe the similar issues we have in common. This is one of those things where there's just no right way. Every mm -hmm. kid is different, every personality is different, and until, I just, quick thing, okay. I think everybody who's a parent has a friend who wasn't a parent who would give their input on how, what you should do in that situation. And then that friend now has kids and... Total different I, story. <laughs> completely, they have a new appreciation because they got their own kids with their own personalities and their own issues and we don't say a thing. Like, <laughs> you experience you, yeah, that. <laughs> it's an experience you have to have yourself. I did this with my kids, these aren't your kids. Every kid has a different personality. What we did for Maya is not gonna work for Jasmine. What we do for Jasmine is not nope. gonna work for Danny. And you just learn them and try to work with them the best you can to that's all you can do. help them grow, get the best out of this life. Like that's the ultimate goal, right? It is. I think we're so good with the way we parent. Like there's no book that tells you how to parent. There's no right, there's no absolute wrong way. Like you just do the best you can. And we know it takes a community, it takes a whole village to raise kids. But we are the type of parents that like to be super involved. Like we're always like doing fun skits. We're doing like projects. They have like their own channel. We're dancing. Like the, our kids love just to have fun, and that's all kids want to do. They just want to have keep that attraction. Fun. We do. We do. Ultimately, we're just kids <laughs> raising kids. We just want to have fun, also. Yeah. So this poor guy. He thinks he's a gymnast. <laughs> And is he stuck? You stuck? Leave him! Leave him right there, Amaya! Leave his butt! Let him chill for a bit. He needs to calm down. It's finding that balance between actually parenting and... Having fun. Having <laughs> Big kids. Yeah. Alright guys, make sure you subscribe, subscribe and hit, hit that, that notification, notification bell, bell because we, we don't, don't want, want you to miss a thing! Alright guys, Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Hey, look at mommy say cheese.